Hello my dear friends, welcome back to the channel Exotic Sense. I've got a very special perfume that I want to talk about today in this episode and it comes from the house of Melek Perfumes. The perfumer is Matthew Melek who makes natural perfumes and this one is a vintage inspired fragrance. When I say vintage, I mean fragrances which were made back in the 70s, 80s and those perfumes had a very distinct style and they were very robust in character you'd find the most exotic ingredients the most exotic sandalwood special flowers uh, and all of these materials were collected from uh, around the globe and these were not necessarily natural that's something that you need to know vintage perfumes were not natural the synthetic perfume industry has been in existence for a long long time now but the concentration of those perfume oils were quite a lot which made these fragrances richer and of course not everyone could afford such fragrances it was not uh, something which uh, everyone was wearing to office and to gym etc it was just for special occasions and every perfume had a very uh, strong sort of uh, presence so this one brings back those memories I'll tell you, if you are someone who loves the vintage Chanel's and the vintage Kerala's, you'll definitely love this fragrance. First of all, the presentation is superb. So full marks to Matthew for putting in all that effort. And this will definitely improve. And um, the perfume here is almost 30% in concentration. So it's a very strong powerful concoction which lasts on the skin for a very long time and it is very robust very unapologetic sort of a musky floral sheep that's what he uh, loves to call this fragrance and i can read off the notes from the website of course but let me spray it on you've got bergamot in the opening which is uh, a sweet citrus which makes fragrances very appealing and instantly likable there's a very powdery lavender in this fragrance which is very rich and uh, slightly soapy and you've got a very thick note of a very thick accord of ylang ylang which is a rich exotic flower which is uh, which is known for its sweet creamy custard like profile you've got a beautiful Ethiopian civet musk in here and you've got some extra musky tones to give it that balance you've got a sandalwood which is quite rich and quite palpable right from the beginning that powdery facet that creamy woody facet that this fragrance has it, it is coming from the rich sandalwood in the dry down and uh, there's cedar wood as well which is not too prominent I will say and uh, this fragrance is so very well composed it reminds me of some of those floral fragrances from Arij La Dore but Arij La Dore is a very uh, distinctive uh, house in itself so uh, it cannot be compared this has more of a French influence to it and uh, Arij La Dore has, has more of that Eastern influence to, uh, uh, to them so this one feels very posh very uh, very clean very urban sort of scent definitely as rich as one of those vintage Chanel's that you like and uh, equally good I would say Matthew knows how to use the civet and the musky tones properly that I'll have to point out because these are the musky tones can get a bit scratchy on the nose a bit abrasive he has been um, very careful of using these ingredients and it's not overpowering the civet which is the main unique note in this fragrance and it's a standout note makes this fragrance powdery rich almost as rich as one of those musky fragrances from Arij Le Dore. and uh, there are not there are not many fragrances which come to mind especially the ones from the big houses the commercial houses they do not make fragrances like these at all and uh, it's quite uh, saddening because uh, these days what you get mostly are safe fragrances, office safe fragrance, public safe fragrance, fragrances which are rich in synthetics and uh, there's a very uh, strict usage of florals and these musky compounds and it's kind of acceptable for today's society but uh, of course if you're a perfume connoisseur you're looking at 
something rich, something outstanding. And uh, the same cannot be said about technology. You want newer technology, but perfumes, however, and even clothes for that matter, you cannot wear uh, traditional clothes now. I mean, as much as you'd like, but with perfumes, uh, I think it's it's something which most of the perfume houses are missing. Of course, they have a lot of number. They have they're selling a lot of perfumes to the markets, of course, because people have become very very conscious of themselves, and people are using all kind of perfumes. They're reaching out. They have these malls that they can just go and go into and buy all the all the stuff from the designer brands. And you know why designer perfumes sell most of all because. Their perfumes are the most affordable items from their uh, so, their so-called, uh, uh, you know, luxury portfolio. You cannot buy a Gucci handbag. You cannot buy a Gucci uh, muffler even. But you cannot buy Dolce & Gabbana shoes. But you can buy their perfumes at a department store maybe next to you. So that's what makes these perfumes so, uh, you know, so enticing so attractive because everyone wants a piece of that cake everyone wants a piece of that luxury item or the luxury market but they do not want to spend enough or they do not have enough to spend but these cheap perfumes these designer perfumes kind of gives them this this uh, validation and uh, it makes them feel special so that's why they sell mostly and people of course do not have much idea about ingredients this fragrance will make you fall in love with the vintage theme because it is very very modern and the balance in these notes in these accords is quite phenomenal there's a definite transition to this fragrance the bergamot disappears the ylang ylang becomes soft obviously that's what you want because it can um, be very overpowering in a scent all those na nag champa it can make fragrances smell like those vintage old nag champa incenses and uh, sandalwood rich incenses you know th those kind of smells patchouli nag champa sandalwood kind of stuff which kind of gives it a dated feeling this one is not dated at all the musk is incredible it does smell a bit like those Charlie fragrances and uh, Yovan Musk fragrances back from the 80s, I would say. But at the same time, let's not forget that these fragrances were not as rich or as um, intimidating, as uh, exciting and this one, as this one. The price is quite reasonable for what they offer. The concentration is superb. It will last you an easy 6 to 8 hours on your skin, even in a hot weather. That's the special thing. Of course, you cannot do more than two sprays because it's it, you, you'll, you'll be choked with the strong smell and the, the strong essences in this fragrance. So be gentle on the sprays and I think this one makes for a very solid uh, offering from Melik Perfumes. And I think this is one of those special perfumes which everyone should try if you've had a very dry period in the last 6 months, 10 months. This one will definitely give you worth for your money. Try it out. Civet Cat Ship, 30% concentration from the house of Melik Perfumes. This one is quite a stunner. See you once again in another fragrance review. Until then, take care. Goodbye, guys.